looking at? Yeah, we're gonna cook today, Tifa! Yay! She's so excited! Why do you shake your head? <laughs> but yes, today I'm gonna do something very different here on my channel. I'm gonna do some cooking, mainly because I want to celebrate for 8,000 subscribers. Seriously, thanks so much for that. I still, it still feels so crazy about that. And I wanted to do something a bit different with that, uh, celebrating a little bit, and I decided to do some cooking. And uh, this will be the poor man cooking, because I will do some cooking with the things when you don't have much money, as I do, or little food and things like that. And yeah, go for that. And this is my kitchen in general. It's actually very small, but I really like it. It doesn't need to be big. It's and. Uh, and be green outdoors. And as, as I mentioned, I don't have so much food. I do have, mostly for some reason, lots of condiment. I don't know why it, it just stacks up. But the main ingredients will be this. Fuck. Oh God. It's grinded meat I bought from City Gross, town, a mall here in Sweden. And the goal is to make this into a big, big pot of, well, bologna sauce that we can eat for for many days, for a week. So, what am I gonna use for this bologna sauce, or whatever you want to call it, the grind meat that I'm gonna make into pretty much a soup? Well, it's actually a pretty nice thing with that, because you can literally put anything you have. If you have carrots, put it in. You have potatoes, put it in. You have pasta, probably boil it first, then put it in. But all these things work very well if you don't have much to do with. And now this, uh, it's it's pork grind. It's the cheapest versions you can buy here in Sweden. And yeah, it's I got it ex actually extra cheap because it's about to go out the date on this one. So I bought it and gonna do this big dish, so to speak. And to this I have. A small can of chopped tomatoes that was like half a dollar and I got it super cheap so I was like fuck yeah let's go for that. Uh, mustard, we have some sweet chili sauce and ketchup. And then this is something I got recently from my grandma. A touch of, of taste. You know I like it hot. And then we have a bit different spices. Salt, we have Grill crude or orange crude, which is all round spice, you know, cool hip thing. Some garlic pepper, not much left of that one. And then last, uh, citron pepper, which is lemon pepper, pretty much. So, yes, this is pretty much what I do have. I don't have so much else. I do have some. Fuck is this? Roasted onion, no? This is potato. <laughs> yeah, um, potato, you, you know how to be mad. And this is like sheep shit. And uh, we have some fusellinis, I think it is, yes. So that will be the main part of that. So this is what I'm gonna have, and this is what we're gonna cook with. Yeah. Are you excited to help me in the kitchen, Tifa? Yeah, you're gonna help me. She's my assistant chef. Tifa Pust. <laughs> And you have your own food there. For some reason, you always flip the bowl. I don't know why. No. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at this prima donna. Look at her. So hey there, fools. Swedish chef in the house. We can do some cooking, and first of all, I need to get, uh, of course, the, the big pot. I should probably get the bigger one. Hopefully I didn't damage the roof there. But yes, this is a bit bigger one. Because I want to utilize the size as much as possible. You know what I mean, boys and girls and naughty dogs. And um, yeah, because the idea is simply to make as much food as possible of the little shit I do have here. So, first of all, we're gonna... This is something new, I haven't seen this before. They have literally vacuum sucked this one. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Porky, you're so funny. And so this, a knife. Maybe I should get a bigger one. This is a knife. 
I shouldn't play with knives. In the end, it's just safer to go with a scissor. You know what I mean. Oh, wait. Oh, I can... Oh, I did... Look, you can peel... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, well. That's good. Now we all know about that. Oh, it's like peeling off a condom of a dead horse. Don't ask me how I know that. Oh, it smells. It's not a bad smell. You know, it, it's, it's not it's not bad meat. It's just that, you know, pork and meat in general have a smell. And of course, never forget it. So, we are back and now we're gonna... You know, it's funny, I have been, I have been slaughtering animals. Not like I just went out and you know, and I'm the, rather that I've been with the butchering part, so to speak. So I've been grinding meat and stuff like that. Oh gosh, the camera is still big. Hold it, my hand is all gravy, skew, skew, gooey. Oh god, I need to hurry before the camera falls into the floor. Don't do the camera, I don't have money for another camera. Even if you're like 20 years old at this point. Man, it's like clay, I can like... I'm gonna make it. Elsa? You wanna be a meat man? <laughs> Don't play with your food. So I have now filled this with water and yeah, it looks like great. It's for the zombie fest. And uh, yeah, you still still a bit lump, so I'm gonna try to crush as much of this as I can. And I didn't fill it entirely up because it will be, first of all, it, when it boil it, obviously will otherwise boil over, but also because when I add the other stuff, it rises a bit. Like, my penis when I see some tit, I you know, no, no, no. And next up is, we're gonna boil some fusilinis. What the fuck are they called? Fusilinis? Fusilis. Sound like a disease. I'm sorry, Mrs. Smith, but you're suffering from fusilis. No! My sex life is ruined! Yeah, I'm crazy. <sighs> sorry for that, guys. Gordon Ramsay would probably kill me for this. <laughs> so, with this, obviously, we fill up with a bit of water and then we add some salt. Because we do know fusilis like to swim in the salt water. Honestly, I don't know why I'm doing this. I just remember that I was taught that many, many, many years ago. So I'm doing that on pure routine. I think it's so it doesn't clump together as much. Or maybe give some taste. I, if you know, please tell me. I'm a chef that doesn't know anything. Oh my gosh. So it has started to take some colors. It is starting to get really right through. So we're gonna start adding things and soon we're gonna have some fusilis. My secret. <laughs> okay, okay. So first off, we're gonna start with a chopped tomatoes. Tomatoes, as I like to call it. I'm gonna... Oh. Come on, for fuck's sake, nails! Oh, there we go. Whew. No match for Lana. I have a power and dinger on my side. Let me get a look like this. And of course, be careful because it's sharp as fuck. Yes. Plums this little bitch in, like whoa, whoa, whoa. What? 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 And of course, if you are like me, very cheap, you can pour in some water. That was a mistake, but yeah, to get out as much as possible. And of course, when you're making this, uh, oh, now they started boiling there. <laughs> fusilis, fusilis. They make extra much, you know. I'm a growing boy on the sides. The kumb. Kumbaya. Ow. As I said, uh, was gonna say, usually you can use like, I don't know what they call the English reading, which is like a combination of uh, flour and milk to make it a bit thicker. But I don't have much milk, and the milk I have is for my coffee. I can't drink my coffee, but heck, I die! 
if I do that, pretty much. So I'm going with this instead, just water. And surprisingly, this is more grind meat than I usually use. Usually it's just one half kilo. This is a one and a half. So that brings more food. And of course we need to make sure so that the facility doesn't get boiled to get stuck. And then, oh god. I have trained. And fun fact, I don't like mustard normally, you know, like on hot dogs and stuff like that. But I do like it in uh, bolognese sauce like this. And of course, as I said, you can pretty much use anything you have. If you have, like, just a little bit of ketchup or carrots or whatever, just throw it in. It's a uh, very simple thing to make that is easy to do when you don't have much at home. You can you take the things you have left. When you're in a poor situation, you go for that. And then... <laughs> Ketchup! It's ketchup! How can you go? Oh dear, oh dear god, oh dear god, oh dear god. The pusta, the pusta is come. Pusta la vista, baby. And uh, I'm gonna add this. This is to make it a bit more strong. I like strong food. My anus doesn't though. It looks like a Japanese flag when I'm done with this. And usually you're gonna have... <laughs> oh, oh, it was like so my nose fucking fell off. Oh my god, this is strong shit. And usually you should use like... Uh, what does it say? Uh, one and a half teaspoon per five deciliters. I don't know how many deciliters it is in there, so I do this. I probably will die. <laughs> This is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. I mean, it won't be like if you're eating in a big fancy restaurant, but you know, you eat what you can. And then of course, I'm gonna add in some sweet chili. This is actually a very cheap bottle. Classic. And uh, yeah, why not? Because I need to use it up anyway, so I like sweet chili. It's probably gonna end up to like a Frankenstein kind of creation here, but you know, I'm all for that. We're gonna spoon around this. See, it's already filling up quite a lot here actually. And I won't taste it completely yet, mainly because since it's pork, it really needs to be well done. Otherwise you can get all of these weird diseases like uh, hypochondria and uh, thermostat and stuff like that. That is not very good. Or Porkenstein. Oof, you don't want to turn to Porkenstein. No, no, no. I know I already am. And I don't want you to suffer the same fate as Bacon did. He was a man once. And he turned to a pig. Next up I'm gonna jeet in some spices. Of course, a bit salt. <laughs> Probably die from that because, you know, salt is not too good. Um, garlic paper. I mean, come on. Ah! Whoops. Holy shit, what did I do there? And uh, all round spice because the pot is round. Had it been square, no go with this one. See, I'm a genius. I know how to handle the, sh the kitchen. <laughs> I started. Oh god! <sighs> I think mistakes were made there, boys and girls. And then uh, lemon pepper. I think lemon pepper is actually really nice. It's one of my favorite spices. I use it literally on everything because. I'm a monster. And then we just... Oh shit. The pasta is boiling, boiling. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and uh, talking about being poor and using whatever kind of stuff I can find to make food. I'm actually using this contraption as my camera holder, my, cam my statue. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, I don't have one. So I make my, you know, bottle with water. Put it on there so it got up a bit. And then a toilet roll. Fix it with Lano. Lano know how... To... You know, when you're poor, you, 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 you think. <laughs> you need to think. And of course, it's devastation. 
I really don't like that one. It's so old and nasty at this point. But I can't throw it away either because I can't afford to buy a new one. God damn it. The pasta is soon done, so we need this. I think it's so cool. You know, you know you're an adult when you get enjoying by these kind of stuff, but it's so easy. Like, I'm gonna put it in. I can put it in anywhere I want. It's smooth. Even my butt can contain this. And the pasta is ready. It having this more whitish color now. Mm -hmm. Because it turned first transparent, it's not done yet until it, it grown a little bit and become like a white little peanut. <coughs> you know you're done. Oh gosh. Mm. Spoosh it off a little bit. Spoosh, 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 spoosh. Ah, like a wet dream. <laughs> And then we put it back in here. Now I can go and play tennis with this one. And I don't want to brag, but I bought this on Ikea. Ikea forever, man! So I'm gonna go and give this the first taste here. Ah, uh, It looks like puke, but... Need more sting to it. So I'm gonna go and find the singer sting and throw him into this. So now this have been slowly boiling for a bit, so it's very soon done. I have added some more spices where I felt it needed. And yeah, time to eat! And here we have the finished produce. It doesn't look fancy or anything like that, but it's food! Guys, look! Lana can cook! Oh, so you guys might wonder why I'm sitting with a cap on, mainly because if I don't, my hair will fall into the food. The curse of having a bit longer hair. But yes, I wanted to do this without a weird video. I'm so sorry for that for com compared to my normal content and all of that. But I first of all want to thank all of you for 8,000 subscribers. Once again, seriously, thanks so much for all of the support and all, all the comments and uh, everything. It means super much to me. It, it, it's, it really feels crazy. And I want to do something special and something different, so I decided on this, you know, because I know, like me, I, I don't have it well off, so I make cheap stuff like this just to maintain. So now I have food for about a week, pretty much. And I want to share, like, it's nothing wrong with being poor. I know there's lots of you out there as well that have these kind of problems, so take it in, make your own special food and all that. We all need to eat and survive. And uh, I will be back with more kind of stuff like this, definitely, if people are interested. This is, as I said, this is just random stuff and goofing around in the kitchen. You shouldn't do that. Be careful with goofing in the kitchen. It can, it, it can turn quite bad. But I am really enjoy this and I think cooking is quite fun when I have producers for it, of course. Now I don't have much. I literally just throw in whatever kind of condiments and stuff I have in this and make it like a soup so it's long lasting and the thing is when it's almost empty you can fill it with water and some extra spice to just fill up a little bit again so it lasts even longer I know that sounds incredible cheap but when you don't have money you don't and you need you you need to eat so that works seriously and if you have other tips and funny things share with me I would like to hear that I'm gonna see now Oh wow, this is warm. Ah, hot my tongue. Whew. Hmm. Is this the best food I've ever done and eaten? Not by long shot. And it's definitely not food you would eat in a restaurant. But I do have the most important spice after all, which is hunger. When you're hungry, you can eat anything. Well, not, not everything, and you shouldn't do that either, but you know what I mean. It's, it's good to eat when you're hungry. Like I am now, I haven't eaten on all day and I've been up for about 14 hours, I think. No wonder I'm a mess, I'm feeling a bit shaky right now. So I, I, I'm so I'm gonna eat my simple food, think about all of you guys, and thanks so much for this 8,000 subscribers and all comments and everything. You guys are fucking superb and I love you all and... Yeah, I wish I could do more and more fancy stuff and have more fancy equipment and stuff like that. But as I said, I'm even using toilet paper rolls to hold the camera and stuff like that. <laughs> oh gosh. 
But yes, I will be back. Thank you very much for watching. See you later on. And I will continue. Super great day.